In today's video, I want to talk to you about Huskies. And no, not these cute, adorable fur babies that we know and love, but these, Husky Switches from Kinetic Labs. Let's dive into them, review them, and hear how they sound. So the Husky Switches from Kinetic Labs. Now, first things first, there's no bonus points for cute packaging, but if there were, this would probably take the cake. Now, before I dive into these switches, for full transparency, Kinetic Labs did send me these switches for review, but all the opinions and thoughts are my own as always. So with that said, let's dive into the switches. All right, first thing we see here, looking at the switches is the Husky coloring. As the white palm stem, it's a light gray top housing and a dark gray bottom housing, both made of PC polymer mix. These are a five pin long pull linear switch. They have 63.5 gram symmetric springs and they're manufactured by Texi. I'm super stoked to open these up and take a closer look. Let's do that. First, we'll start with our stem. This is a white palm stem with an elongated stem pole, long pole for short. It can change the sound signature as well as the travel distance for actuation. And next up, we have our top housing. This is a light gray polycarbonate top housing. Next up is our spring. This is a long 63.5 symmetric spring. As you can see here, it looks like two standard springs stacked on top of each other. This increases the snappiness of the return of the switch. It feels really good in my opinion. Next is our bottom housing. This is a dark gray polycarbonate bottom housing. As you can see, it is a five pin style housing. You can also clip those to make them three pin, but standard they are five. All right, so we've loaded all of our stock switches into a Bakken Echo 60. This is a 60% aluminum keyboard. It has two millimeters of EVA foam, but other than that, it's completely stock. So let's go ahead and take a listen to see what they sound like stock. All right, now that we've heard the stock sound test, I wanna go ahead and open them up and apply a little bit of lube. A few of them did feel a touch scratchy, but nothing crazy. I also didn't hear any spring ping or crunch, but again, I think adding a little bit of lube will go a long way with these switches. We're also gonna apply a little bit of super lube to these springs. Now, other than that, it's gonna be a standard affair. So time to open all our switches and get to lubing. All right, for me, when I got all my switches apart, I'll go ahead and grab my 205 and I'll start by lubing the rails of the bottom housing. I do a few swipes on each side as well as the center hole and we'll call it a day. After all your bottom housings are lubed, I'm going to go ahead and grab an empty Ziploc bag, pour all my springs in and bag lube my springs. For this, I use super lube. I do 15 drops of super lube in a bag and then shake, shake, shake for about three minutes making sure there's an even coating to all my springs. Once all your lubing is done, for me, this is all the lube I think these switches need. We're gonna go ahead and reassemble all of our switches. Now that my switches are lubed and back in the keyboard, let's give it another listen to see what they sound like lubed.
All right. So this is us checking out the Husky linear switches from Kinetic Labs. And honestly, I really like them. I like them stock, but I really think they shined when they were lubed. It brought down the tone a little bit, as well as just making it a smoother typing experience. After using these for about two weeks, gaming and typing for work, I really enjoy how snappy they feel. When switching over to another keyboard with linear switches, I definitely felt like I was missing that quick return of how fast these springs bounce back. And honestly, I think I'm gonna throw these in one of my daily keyboards and daily drive them for the foreseeable future, just because I really enjoyed them a lot. But as always, it comes down to personal preference as well. Just because I like the feel and the sound, does it mean you will or won't? So, I would also like to hear your feedback. What do you think? Do you like the symmetric springs? Do you like long pull? Do you not like long pull? Let me know in the comments below. And also, big shout out to Kinetic Labs. Thank you so much for sending these out for review. I really appreciate it. And if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you could drop a like and hit subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And if you want to pick up a set of these switches for yourself, check the description box below for an affiliate link. And that's it. The end. And remember, keep keyboarding.